Look at the kids that are engaged in reading. Here's volunteer Ellen uh, Siegel Wolf. This is one of the Freedom Houses in Ruleville, Mississippi. They put them wherever they could put them. But as you can imagine, in spite of the media blitz in Mississippi, violence ensued. You knew what was going to happen. You knew what was inevitable. And it is going to happen. Here's a picture of someone who was a volunteer. He was not one of the youthful volunteers. There were a number of ministers and rabbis who came down to help that summer. And this is Rabbi Arthur Lelyveld. He was beaten with a tire iron in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I really wish I had this picture in color because that's just blood that soaked the entire front of his shirt there. Large-scale violence ensued in spite of the fact that there was massive media coverage of what was happening down here. Massive media coverage. With the disappearance of Schwerner and Cheney, Schwerner, Cheney and Goodman, the media descended upon Mississippi, but it doesn't really protect them. 80 volunteers beaten, over 1,000 arrested, 67 churches, homes, businesses were either bombed or burned. 67. This is just one state. In one summer, shots were fired at 30 people, and we know there were six known murders. Six. People are dying. People are dying so people can vote. People are dying so that people can eat in a restaurant with white people. People are dying to do things that we just so take for granted. Just think about the things that they want to do and look at the level of violence that is leveled against them. 